Welcome back to my channel, Saints. I hope you're being very blessed. And today is May the 15th, 2020. And I started to write something for you. And it starts like this. My dear Saints, I, your unworthy sister, come to you today. Not from me, but from the Most High. For nothing good could ever come from me, a simple little worm. Today, I was inspired to share with you a way of renewing our spirit and recognizing, uh, not recognizing, and recharging our batteries so that we may be more prepared for battle. Today, I woke up with... Um, my right arm and neck in pain and they were they were also very stiff I just couldn't believe that my arm in which I write and with whom and with what I hold my sword with was wounded it bothered me because I was being very selfish like I usually am I placed my arm I placed my armor on and I went to the Lord asking him to renew me I asked him to renew me with his Holy Spirit I was immediately drawn to do a cynical or a Lord's Supper there I found a source of living water that water came from the fountain the fountain of Almighty Father. His name is Jesus. As I made the Seneca or the Lord's Supper, very slowly I began to unite myself with my love, who was gentle enough to wash away my filth with his holy living water. This fountain is Jesus himself, whom is waiting for us to ask him, for this living water I rejoiced and swimmed in it and slowly my pain faded away like if it was never there thank you my sweet living water after that the cynical I was left filled with so much joy I wanted to I wanted the cynical to keep on going but after an hour it came to its end Right afterwards, I saw a picture of my beloved telling St. Bernard he had an unrecorded suffering on his shoulder while he bore the cross of the way of sorrows, a grievous wound which is not recorded by men. Oh, my sweet beloved, how could I wish for my tiny little shoulder pain to go away when you, my beloved, is suffering with an excruciating pain for this little warm, worthless worm? Please, my sweet king, let me help you bear a little of that pain, and I will be a happy little worm. But please, let me help you at least with a little bit. Oh, how wicked I am and selfish for only thinking about my comfort when you are suffering in silence for me. Oh, my sweet love, why do you stay quiet? Why don't you tell me and allow me to kiss it with my dirty, poisonous mouth? Oh, my, oh, my sweet love, let me be a little help to you today my love and my help not to complain help me not to complain when my lord is bearing all this pain my sweet love i want to love you more than i love my myself i want to suffer a little bit for you to help with your wound but i am so coward and weak how could i even ask for this if I can't even 
resisted little sore neck and shoulder. Please let me at least kiss it with my dirty, filthy lips. I love you, my sweet king. And that is the end. And I'm going to share with you the picture that I saw uh, of Jesus. And if if we want to, if you want to comfort him in that spot, that part of the shoulder where it, he told St. Bernard that's where it hurt the most, but nobody ever knew about it. So if we can comfort him, uh, at least we can know that we are relieving a little bit of pain. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray three Hail Marys. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tri Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora por nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tri Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora por nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora por nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. May God bless you, saints. And I'll see you next time. And Viva Cristo Rey.